I there's a comment here from Ryan, and I really interested for your take on this, Sean. He says only one person to blame for these poor games. Jay Woodcroft and I think a lot of times and this was something last year during the playoffs when they show a dud you're the only one between all the people watching the people in the room who played in the NHL is it a coach's job at the NHL level to motivate the players no if you're sitting in the regular season and you want to throw that one out there you know what I might even I might bite but let's be honest it's the playoffs and last year you went to the Western Conference Finals you come in, you say you're a better team this year, you're a tougher team this year, you have, you're more complete. There should be zero time ever to sit there and say, well, the coach needs to motivate me. Like, Connor McDavid actually came out and said, like, yeah, it's all about legacy for me. Like, I want to win championships. I don't care about the points, all this kind of stuff. I want to yeah. win. And if that's the case, well, then you need to show up. Like, you can't allow your coach to be the guy that's going to try to get you there because if that's the case, then you're in trouble. Because championship teams are motivated within the dressing room. The mm. team actually leads it. It's not the coach. The coach just comes in and helps you. They don't take you to the dance. He's not coming in giving a rah-rah speech in between every period and before every game. You never have to. Yeah. It's, and yeah, actually, I like that. It should be more on that leadership crew. 100%. If you want to point blame somewhere for coming out and looking unmotivated, that's where you do it. And I always go back to this is a leadership group that I think really leads on the ice. And you think back to Game 7 last year against L.A., First shift, Connor McDavid steamrolls Sean Dersey. And that game was one of the most physically engaged games I saw from the Oilers. And it starts at the top to some extent. And I even think that was the case in game two, right? Like the stars came out, pedal to the floor, scored on those power plays, were dominating the Golden Knights, and the trickle down effect was felt through the lineup. And I think last night it just that wasn't there from the big guns. 100 percent If you look, if you look at the Colorado Avalanche last year, do you think Bedner went into that room at any point was like, hey boys, can you try it today? <laughs> hell no you had mckinnon breathing down your neck like mckinnon's a nut job like to the point where he doesn't even want guys having pasta yeah so like <laughs> that's the leadership that they have so why can't you have the same thing like bedner didn't go in the room and be like come on guys let's go like mccarr's doing it you know <laughs> you trade for all these like veteran leaders yeah. the team is leading themselves mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. I just I always get a chuckle out of people being like, "Oh, you gotta motivate the team better, Woodcroft." It's like, no, like, come on, that's not the way this stuff is going.